you're wasting your bra, you understand? So I have hormonal acne. It's hormonal. It's gonna come around no matter what because of my what? Hormones. I feel like I just wet my whole body. <laughs> like what? What up and welcome back to my channel. It's Minna and in this video we are doing an evening skincare routine. As you can see, the vibes are vibing. All links to everything that I use are gonna be below. In addition to those candles, this one is real, these ain't real. I'm gonna link them in case you're looking for some candles to set the mood in your bathroom. But let's just go ahead and take off all of this and get ready for bed. I cannot lie, I am feeling gorgeous today. And when you feel good and you know you look good, who wants to take all of this off? It nauseates me, it really does. But it's gotta come off because who's going to bed with makeup on? Not me. And you should not be going to bed with makeup on either. I've done a morning skincare routine, make sure you watch that. The products do change depending on how I'm feeling, depending on what I'm using. So I'll do different iterations of these. This is one of the many iterations of a nighttime routine that we're gonna do today. Now I need to get my hair out of my face, obvi. I can't wash my face with my hair in it, but I can't lie, like I said, there's some days I'm just like, yo, I'm feeling myself too much. Why do I have to wrap all this up and go to bed. I'm so annoyed by it. Like I really, really am, but I have to. Okay, I'm just taking this random brush that I have, girl. I laid my edges and stuff, but you gotta brush through this. I just used Ebon Edge Control and it's not hard. So it picked right up. This is my hair. Okay, it's a good old silk press. Don't play yourself. There are no tracks in this, as you can see. And we gonna just wrap it up, okay? I am gonna work out tomorrow. And my hair stylist told me to take out the wrap when I work out and put it in a ponytail, which I never knew I was supposed to do. I thought I was supposed to work out with the wrap, girl. Cause do that, all your hair gonna get wet. That makes so much sense. I can't believe that I never, I didn't know that. <laughs> Here we go with the wrap. And I have been using these duck clips to keep the hair in place cause it be coming down. Let me wrap this hair anyway, and then we're gonna wash the hairline, and then I'll fix the wrap to come down over the hairline. You'll see, hang on. I forgot I had purchased these hair nets for my wraps. So let's just do this right now, and then I'll tie it down before I actually sleep. You hear what I'm saying? So this is gonna go back a little bit because we are going to wash the hairline. If you are a black woman and you're putting product on your edges, including the makeup, right? If you're contouring and your contour is going into your hairline, you need to wash that when you wash your face in the evening. Product being hair product and makeup product needs to come off of the edges, okay? Now we need to take these lashes off. Thank God I don't use the bonding glue anymore. So when I take off my lashes, uh oh, hold on. <laughs> they come off a lot easier than they did with bonding glue. But bonding glue is strong. So these were bound to my face, okay? Bonding glue, these joints were bound. It doesn't happen that way anymore. Let me take off my contacts. Now, in addition to looking good, feeling good, and all the things, you have to take care of your oral hygiene. Hello, I take oral hygiene very, very seriously. So I like to floss, take a floss pick, floss your teeth. Then you know that I use an electric toothbrush, which has been a game changer for me. My dentist always talks about how much easier it is to clean my teeth. She doesn't have to scale my teeth as much because there isn't as much tartar plaque buildup because of me using the electric toothbrush. All products that I mentioned are gonna be below, just FYI, but make sure you have an electric toothbrush. If you have an iPhone, you need to have an electric toothbrush. And of course, you wanna brush your tongue. The toothpaste that I love to use is this Colgate Optic White Advanced. I do whiten my teeth, watch my teeth whitening video. In the meantime, I do use this teeth whitening toothpaste and it will work. So let me floss my teeth, brush my teeth. Okay, so I've already finished my oral hygiene routine and now I need to take off makeup. First thing, if I have time. If I'm not rushing and I, <laughs> I want to spend some more time on my skincare, then I do start with taking off the eye makeup. But when I'm in a rush, I go straight into the cleansing balm or the cleansing oil. So a cleansing balm is a hardened version of what an oil would be. So take for instance, this looks like a cream. It's a balm. Think of coconut oil when it's in solid form versus when it's in liquid form. Same coconut oil, right? But it's just in a different form. This is a cleansing balm. When you rub it onto your hands, it melts and then you rub 
it onto your face. It's going to melt off the makeup and then you will rinse that and then cleanse your face with a cleanser, which is a soap, right, for your face and then go on from there. So I've gone through so many cleansing balms. If you've seen my product empties video, so many cleansing balms in there right now. The one I'm using is from Bad Habit. This is new for me. Acai Night Nightly Cleansing Balm and you know, it works. So there's that. But what I'm gonna do is actually clean off my eyes. Just add a little extra touch today because honestly, it does make things easier. What I don't like is to have eyeliner left over even after I've washed my face. It's annoying. So this is a Laura Mercier Soothing Eye Makeup Remover on a cotton pad. Taking some of that. That's This is why I take off my contacts first because the last thing you want if you wear contacts, comment and let me know. The last thing you want is to have any kind of makeup on your contact. It is the worst. So let's rub. No need to be too rough with this because the product works really well. If you have on eyeshadow, it does come off easily. You should see that. It is going to be messy, but that's just the name of this whole entire game, especially when you do the cleansing balm. It's going to look messy. It's going to feel messy. All the things like so gross. Let me get another one. And the key is really the eyeliner. Eyeliner and the mascara is where the problem lies. So when I go underneath my eye, I fold my eye a little bit to get right underneath it. That might look gross to you, but you really should do that to get your eyeliner off, okay? And then I can't lie to you, sometimes there's product on my eyeballs. So when I'm rinsing my face, I rinse my eyes too. I can literally feel a product in my eyes. So let's take some of this bad habit cleansing balm. I take a lot. I mean, what am I doing? I'm not saving stuff. I have so much to get through. So I take a lot. This is purple, as you can see. So here we go. See how it melted? Rub this on the face. Get your lip off too. If you have on a lip stain, a cleansing balm or a cleansing oil is going to be such a perfect product to get that stuff off. And of course, if you didn't want to do the eye product, the eye makeup remover first, then just spend a lot of time right here rubbing the eye. When I'm in a rush, I don't spend very much time here and then I find that I still have product left over. Take your time when you're right here because the mascara and the eyeliner gets gunked up. You really want to get all of it off, go up and down and rub around. Again, all the more reason why you don't want to have your contacts on because can you imagine? Oh my God. You didn't have to throw them things away. You know what I'm saying? Get in your hairline to break up that product. We are going to wash it, so don't worry too much. We're going to get up in there with the cleanser, okay? All right, so <laughs> that was messy. As you can see, there's still product on my face. Not a terrible amount, but still product on my face nonetheless. Now I'm gonna finish off my First Aid Beauty facial cleanser. This is a pure skin face cleanser. I am at the bottom of this, but I don't like to waste products. Let me squeeze what I got back up in here. Go ahead and use my code MINA15 on firstaidbeauty.com if you wanna save some money and get this product. Nice lather to this that I enjoy and work this into the skin work it into your hairline of course the jawline if you have your makeup there if you bring your makeup down to your neck get all of that baby if you wash your face in the shower then fine you know if you do this at the sink just make sure no matter what you do get it really really good I need some more water I can't even see <laughs> let me go close to the sink and get some water to lather this <laughs> some more and then I'm gonna come back. One of the first things I do is put a lip balm on because what I can't do is dry lips, okay? I do not do good with dry lips. It's just not for me. I don't know about you. This is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. This thing is done, okay? It is done, done. But I refuse. I want to get every last bit out of it, okay? And then I sprayed my face with this Believe Beauty Face Toning Mist. Under $5. Very, very good. Very hydrating. I love the way that it sprays. Some spray nozzles are very irritating. This one is not like that. Love this. I feel like I just wet my whole body. <laughs> Like what? Depending on the time that I have, that's how I determine what else I want to do. Do I want to do a pore clearing mask? Do I want to do a different type of exfoliating product? Do I just want to go in with my serum and my moisturizer, my oil and go to bed? What do I want to do? So today, hmm, let's think about it. What do we want to do? What do you say? All right, so I'm going to do two different things. I'm going to target my skincare tonight and I'll explain to you why. Spraying some more mist because the last thing you're gonna do is let your skin get dry, okay? Now on my nose, I'm gonna use this Innisfree Pore Clearing Clay Mask. Two times super volcanic 
clusters, okay? I did a partnership with them some months ago last year, right? It feels weird to say that. But this I'm going to target and just put on my nose to clear the pores on my nose. Hello, you know, the blackheads, the whiteheads, the gunk, the nasty stuff. I'm gonna get all of that off. And I'm also gonna put this right in between my brows. So it's the T-zone essentially. And then the forehead. And then on my chin, I'm going to use a different product. Now that is a product that you could use all over your face, but I like to use stuff to target where I need it. So I don't need to worry about clearing the pores around my hairline, on my cheeks. I don't need to worry about that. That's not a problem for me. The nose is because sometimes it just feels like the nose is just, it just feels like bacteria just gets trapped in there a lot harder. It feels like it's harder to get it out. I don't know. That's just what I want to do. And because my T-zone is normally what gets oily, not tremendously oily, but enough to be a little bit annoying. Now on my chin, I'm going to use this Peace Out Skincare Blemish Balm. This I like because it has in it salicylic acid, niacinamide, hyaluronic acid, and eight amino acid complex. This is fantastic because it's going to take care of the acne on my chin. So I have hormonal acne. It's hormonal. It's gonna come around no matter what because of my what? Hormones. And as a result, I get breakouts on my chin. So I like to use this in a targeted fashion. So not all over my face. Problem area for me is my chin. And I rub it on that way. Take some water to mix with it and rub some more. And then I rinse it off. What this is gonna do is clean out the pores. Because what it is with acne is bacteria in the pores gets clogged and then here we are. I'm talking about the simplest form of acne. I'm not talking about all of the, you know, more severe cases. I'm not a dermatologist, okay? So I wet my hand and I'm rubbing some more. And really and truly I could leave this, but I don't feel like it'd be really done enough at this point. So I'm going to rinse it off and come right back. Alrighty, spraying some mist again because I don't want my face to get dry. All right, all right, all right. And now, now I need some eye cream. I'm finishing out this JLo Beauty eye cream. So taking some of this. And honestly, when I'm in a rush, I just do the fingers and put it on. <laughs> When I wanna be cute and all that, I'll use my ring fingers. Well, come on now, let's just keep it real right now for a hot second, okay? Just make sure it's around the eyes and you can go down and up a little bit. If it's good enough to go around your eyes, it really and truly could go all over your face. Now for my face, the first step is my Curology prescription. So I have a dermatologist and I've been prescribed clindamycin lotion. And that is to keep the pores clean because of rosacea that I have. Now I discovered Curology because at one point, my prescription was expensive. I think it was like $80 or $100. And I said, you know what? Let me try Curology because it's what, 35, 40 bucks? <laughs> so I was like, what the heck? Let me go ahead and save some money since I need this all of the time. And I just didn't want to pay, okay? So I use Curology now. And it's sent to me, what, every month and a half or every month, something like that? And it's 30 or 40, girl, I don't know, something like that. And you work with the nurse practitioner who assesses your skin. You upload a picture or pictures and they assess your skin and then you talk about what you're trying to do. They will prescribe you a concoction. So with this concoction from Curology, I've got tretinoin, clindamycin, and niacinamide. I have combination skin, so not too oily, not too dry in between, but I do have rosacea. This is what helps it stay away. I get flares when I go too long without using it. So I use this every other day because it's very, very strong and too much to use every single day. So if I go too long without using it, I'll get a breakout. And if I try a product, that irritates me, I'll get a breakout. Otherwise, my skin stays A1 by using this for sure. So if you have skin concerns that are not being controlled with over-the-counter products, you have to see a dermatologist. Don't try to follow what I do or what anyone else does thinking that that's gonna be the magic for you. I have a prescription, get a dermatologist, and then of course, use all the other stuff in addition to. But this, if I were to use nothing but Vaseline, this is what helps my skin. This is it. So whether it's Curology or a dermatologist, you need to get a prescription, okay? And then honestly, this pure four-in-one cloud cream, this is a gel to water hydrating essence moisturizer. Clearly, I love this because it's just about done. This stuff is so good. The water gel type hydrating products work so well for my skin. I like this a lot. It looks like water. It feels like water on the skin and it's a moisturizer. And when I use this, 
is when I wake up, I still feel the hydration on my skin. There's some products that I'll put on. I mean, I'll go to bed like, yo, I know I use some products. You see what I'm saying? But then when I wake up, I feel my skin. I'm just like, yo, where is everything that I put on last night? It's just gone. It just disappeared. This ain't one of them products, baby. Now, with my prescription cream, it does result in dryness of the skin because it's turning over the layer of skin faster than normal because after age 25, the skin renews a lot slower. That's number one. It's clearing out the pores, making it dry because it's drying the pores out and keeping them clear and clean. That's number two. So my skin results, I just have a, lot, a lack of hydration in my skin. It's a very strong prescription. So I'm always focusing on hydration. Besides, I'm 36. Come on now. You need to focus on hydration. The more seasoned you get, you understand? So this kind of a product is perfect. I love it. It reminds me of this Saturday Skin Gel, something like this. I forget the name, Saturday Skin. I used it a while ago, over a year ago, and I loved it. I purchased it one other time. I never purchased it again, but I really could have and should have because it's really that good. This is good. I like it a lot, okay? So with a gel product like I just used, I would not put an oil on top. Would you do that? Comment and let me know. I don't normally do that. If I'm using a cream product, then yes, I go with an oil. But something tells me that if I were to put an oil on top of this, it would disrupt it. It might lead to pilling, pilling when it all crumbles. I hate that. So I'm gonna just avoid and not even try to mess anything up. So this is the end of my skincare routine for the nighttime. Of course, shower if you shower at night. Of course, oh, greasing up the hair edges and then go ahead and wrap, like just tie it down because when I washed my hair, I washed my edges so you see how it's curly and that's okay. I don't worry too much about rubbing the product in my face either. It's on, let it stay on. And then, you know, we gonna go to bed on our back. Go to bed on your back. Try not to sleep on your cheeks because if you do, you're gonna take off all this product that you put on your face. You're wasting your product, you understand? I I do end up on my cheeks. Let me not lie to you, you know what I'm saying? But at least I start off on the back, okay? At least try, at least give it a shot. You see what I'm saying? When it comes to the edges, in case you're wondering, this virgin hair fertilizer from Nigeria, got it on Amazon. I don't be using this as diligently as I'm supposed to. So, you know, take that as it is, you feel what I'm saying? But I do feel like it does work because it be tingling the menthol up inside of it, be all menthol in me and stuff. So I'd be like, oh, hi, you know? But you do want to make sure you have some kind of an edge product because you are washing your hairline every day because of contour, because of maybe edge control if you do use that. But if you're doing makeup, your contour is going into your hairline if you're doing it correctly. And if you're doing it correctly, you got to wash off that contour. You hear what I'm saying? So yeah, go ahead and get you a little bit of hair grease for the edges and then wrap your hair down. And that is my evening skincare routine, baby girl. You know what I'm saying? Go to bed looking nice and wet. That is the whole point. So if you found this video helpful comment below watch some more videos because i know you'll find some more videos of mine to be helpful subscribe because i post three videos a week and i don't want you to miss any of them because they're good if you like this one you're gonna love the other ones i promise you and as always i'm glad you're here and thanks for watching my video i'll see you in the next one bye